all right guys this is josh back at it with another video thank you guys so much for showing me love on my uploads like thank you so much for liking my content you feel me liking it commenting thank you i'm showing up every day we i'm getting over my emotions you feel me i'm getting over like everything you feel me i'm just gonna i'm showing up for y'all every day that's what we're doing we're doing daily content but in today's video i want to get right into it i don't want to waste your time uh today's video is gonna be a good video because it's body game y'all you know I got, i'm coming with the body game and then the, the title is oh my god this is so good she will never respect a class clown bro a class clown we about to get into this because y'all know who they are uh, this school is back in session literally y'all are in school y'all see this happening all the time y'all see how people interact socially and you will be surprised if you a young dude guess what bro it do not change if you in high school if you in middle school if you in elementary school bro if you in kindergarten watch my video literally the people women girls they act the same way they act the same it's no difference it's no difference and when i'm coming here to tell you guys this is like very very important information for my older guys out there my young guys out there my community i'm um, talking to y'all is that women do not respect class clowns class clowns in a sense of they'll say anything to make them laugh they will do anything to get the attention from them and they only care how the woman looks you from there looking like okay this girl pretty it's time to embarrass somebody today. It's time to make fun of somebody. It's time to make a joke. You feel me? And it's just like, I want y'all to understand, she not dating a community, uh, a comedian. You know what I'm saying? She not choosing a comedian. Like you think about like where you got the jocks, the athletes, you got the, the brainiacs, you got the people who got all brains, physical capabilities, attract or most attractive. She's not looking down that list and picking a comedian. And that's what I want you guys to understand is like when I say masculine frame or being masculine or being like holding that or having that good, strong or it's saying that you don't have to be a class clown, bro. You don't have to laugh at everything, bro. You don't have to be so unserious, bro, because it's like when you do that, when you laugh at everything or when you're everything is funny or everything is a joke to you, you become that joke. You don't become serious. If you say something like let's say you're used to making the jokes in the class you feel me you used to be in the class clown let's say hey hey i don't feel like making a joke today people are gonna be looking at you like okay i want to laugh you need to this is your job this is what you need to do you you come here to make me laugh that that's your responsibility tell me a joke nine times out of ten i've seen this on comedians talk about this all the time social media and comedians and everything like that is they get upset when people come up to them and tell them, tell me a joke, make me laugh. Mind you, these are their subscribers. You feel me? Like these are the people they built the platform, pe help them pay their bills, everything like that. The comedian is getting tired of people telling them, tell them a joke and they make jokes online. That's how they feed their family. That's how they feed themselves. They get, they don't even respect that. You know what I'm saying? They, they like the money, but they don't respect what they do. And that's what I'm telling you guys is that don't become a comedian you know what i'm saying if you can help it you know what i'm saying if you could do something like where body games sports or something like that do that bro like especially if you're in school join a team join a community but it's just like if you notice when it's a comedian it's only one person there you feel me and it's like it's nothing wrong with that but you tell the bad joke it's a tough crowd you don't get a revalidation you don't get that fulfillment it's almost as if you feel as if you're a failure because you didn't provide a service for somebody to make them laugh you feel me? It's like, it's not your responsibility for somebody to have a good day. Like, I want to say that again. It's not your responsibility for somebody to have a good day. When you're talking, when you're coming into school, when you're coming into places, it's not your job to make them folks laugh. Like, as, as much as I want to say, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm damn sure ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm funny. You feel me? I'm, I, I, but y'all don't see that because it's like, that's not what y'all came here for. That's not what I want to be known for. And that's what I'm saying. You have to carry yourself... Yeah, I'm about to spit. You got you gotta carry yourself so strongly that people know what you do. They know what you're about and they know your morals and your character. And when you make people laugh and when you tell jokes all the time, you you could be jovial, you know what I'm saying? You could be nice, everything like that. But when that becomes your personality as the funny guy, you don't get a chance to not be funny. That is what you have to do. That is what you're of use for. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna invite you into a party. It's not because you got a good physique, it's not because you're the most attractive. He's funny. It is he's the joke. It's like, bro, you get tired of that. Even comedians is like, 
a lot of times i think it was robert downey jr he ended up like suffering depression he was like a comedian well not really comedian but he was like a personality and it's like when you become that personality you become known for that and you don't get to have any other personality and that's what i'm telling you guys with comedians being a class clown you don't want to be known for being a clown you feel me you could be funny but it's just like have that presence especially if you're a man have that presence of being like this is how you carry yourself this is what i'm going to be known for this is this is my you know my i'm stern you know what i'm saying i'm mean you if something pop off oh we fighting you know what i'm saying we we uh we going at it you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm standing for my ground i'm standing for what i believe in i'm standing for my respect and it's like when you know for class clowns it's like they trying to distract other people they trying to get that laugh they're trying to get that validation it's like you don't really respect them because it's like dang you need that much attention you feel me you need you need that much you need that many people looking at you you know what I'm saying? You you can't get attention any other way but just to make people laugh. It's almost like, you know what I mean? Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. It's like you it, every if it, especially if somebody's that it's that happening. If that's happening every day, you gonna be like, damn. I'm, can we stop playing for a second? Cause you you be like, well, damn. I don't feel like laughing right now. You feel me? Like something might happen to you. You know what I'm saying? You might be sick. You might be ear. You might have a headache. Class clown over here trying to. You know, saying light in the mood, everything like that. Like, you don't want to be in that position, bro. You don't want to be a, a position, especially with women, because it's like, why would they respect you? You feel me? If you and everybody face try to make them laugh, if you're saying jokes all the time, you're never serious, and they notice that if it's another pretty face, why are they going to, you know, spend time with you in that way? They're not going to respect you. And if they do respect you, guess what? Their options are wide open because they're like, well, you know what I'm saying? I can go with I can go with the job. You know say I can go with the football player. I can go with the basketball player. I can go with the uh, baseball player. It's almost like you know what I'm saying. They got more status because it's like they're on a team. They're being successful and they're doing something. They're using their work in a per productive way. You know what I'm saying? And of course you can make money from it, but you got to think about: Are you fulfilled? You know what I'm saying? Do Do you feel good knowing that you're the class clown? You Do you feel good knowing you're you're a joke? Do you Do, do you feel good knowing that your biggest your biggest character trait is that you're funny like does that feel good to you like if i was to come up to you is and and it's it's like me and my friends and we notice you are you gonna feel good of me asking you okay make me laugh say something funny mind you i ain't never met you i just see you from online make me laugh no bro because it's like you have your own life you have your you have other attributes to you and it's like you don't want to be known for being a clown bro nobody respects a clown and that's what I'm saying. I want y'all to understand that because it's like, I've been in classes too. I've been in classes with somebody just needed so much attention. We was like, bro, come on, bro. We was like, oh, come on. Especially if the joke not hit it or y'all not feeling it or y'all mad or you, you know, said somebody want to fight him. They're like, bro, shut up, bro. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that, bro. It's like, nobody, nobody want to hear that all the time. You feel me? And that's what I'm saying. With respect, that's how it happens with masculinity. You first start off with making people laugh. And next thing you know, you people pleasing Next thing you know, you saying anything you can to get that laugh, that get that high, that dopamine hit from making somebody laugh. And it's just like, bro, women not going to respect that. They're going to see you. They're going to laugh. They're going to use it. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be you in, the, in that period. But guaranteed through lunch, lunchtime, they're going to be on the person who got the most Instagram followers. They're going to be on the person who who uh, who, who the lit is. You saying they're going to be on the person who who who's the best at sports. They're going to be the person who dressed the best. If anything, people who dress the best or people got dressed who got drip or whatever like that, um, they they got motion. You feel me? If anything, I would y'all whether y'all be that person who dripped out all the time, then the class clown, bro. Like just really, I really want to do that. I really want to talk about this for back to school because I know a lot of y'all are going back to school and everything like that, or like y'all in school now. But don't be the class clown, bro. You are going. You're not gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? You get the you you get the attention. You get the rush. But when it come down to prime time, you're going to be like, well, you might get left out. You know what I'm saying? Or you might got to go with people. Or you know what I'm saying? You might be lit. You might have all the attributes. But at the same time, it's like, why are you doing what you do to make people laugh? It's like, okay, it makes me feel good. But at the end of the day, respect is going to feel better than that. Respect is going to, somebody respect you will understand, okay, this is what he do. That's respectable. You feel me? Like, you know what I mean? He might not do this. He might not have this, but. I respect that and I, I'm gonna hold him to that and I'm gonna treat him with respect every time because guess what he's not saying anything he can to make me laugh and that's what I gotta say bro that's how I feel about it um, we all know a class clown and everything like that if you are a class clown it ain't no shots to you but just understand bro that's not a good feeling of seeking that validation for talking you know what I'm saying or making jokes or putting somebody down if you got to for satire and stuff like that just like 
You know what I'm saying? Have something else going for yourself than that, bro. Because at the end of the day, but it get old. You know what I'm saying? Jokes get old. People grow up. It's things don't become as funny as you anymore, and things become more serious. It's like why play catch up when you can do that now? So that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.